very deep thing, isn't it, in a way? Uh, this question of pacing and timing. It's, especially if there is change uh, and or concern about costs, um, and usually change follows a concern about costs, there is always that sense that change must be rushed, things must be done more quickly, um, that somehow time is not seen as a resource. I suppose that's the point, actually. It's seen as a cost rather than a resource, and time is both. Uh, and because it's seen as a cost, uh, then almost by definition you need to use less of it. Uh, and so you you force people in various ways, either people who are making decisions about a care worker making a decision about how long he or she will stay with an older person, um, and generally they don't have the discretion to um, decide that they will stay longer with this person and less time with that. But equally, if you, at a people doing a different kind of work, let's say you're doing a safety review or uh, a safety check, the pressure from seeing that when you see time as a cost is to do that review, which you might have taken, I don't know, half an hour over, to do it in 20 minutes. Uh, and that, uh, and there's, there tends often, I think, to be an assumption that people have been, not that they've exactly been wasting time, but they haven't seen time as cost. That's particularly um, an issue in the, in the public sector, that they just see time as something that passes. Um, and if it passes, if it takes three weeks for something to happen, well, you know, that's life. Um, and that doesn't, that isn't necessarily effective either. So there's some, there's a lot to be thought about in terms of the balance of pacing and timing, and also of how far, what people can tolerate around that. Because the attempt to change organisations very quickly rarely actually has an effect.